President Putin stands accused tonight of blackmailing European countries over supplies of Russian gas. Earlier today, Mr Putin threatened to stop supplying gas to what he called unfriendly countries if they weren't willing to deal in Russian currency. He signed a presidential decree stating that buyers of gas had to open ruble accounts in Russian banks from tomorrow. Germany, which is one of the main buyers of Russian gas, says it will not tolerate any attempt at what it called political blackmail. Mr Putin's ultimatum is an attempt to boost the Russian currency, which has been hit very hard by sanctions following the invasion of Ukraine. Our Russia editor, Steve Rosenberg, reports from Moscow. It's where Vladimir Putin likes to be, centre stage. And from the Kremlin leader today, a threat to cut gas supplies to what he called unfriendly nations if they don't pay in rubles. The financial system of Western countries is being used as a weapon. Western companies refuse to fulfill contracts with Russian banks. Assets in dollars and euros are frozen, so it makes no sense to use the currencies of these countries. Europe relies heavily on Russian gas. The demand for payment in rubles, not foreign currency, may be designed to make Putin look strong at home. In Europe, they'll be hoping energy supplies won't be interrupted. The West claims Mr Putin is taking decisions based on inaccurate information. But one of his supporters told me this. I think Putin has the most accurate information from different sources, including from the intelligence services. He is probably the most well-informed person in Russia. The Kremlin insists the West is misreading Putin. President Putin's spokesman said the Pentagon and the US State Department simply don't understand what goes on in the Kremlin. They don't understand President Putin. And that was worrying, he said, because total misunderstanding could lead to wrong decisions and bad consequences. The Kremlin continues to claim that attacking Ukraine was the right decision. Many Russians agree, but not everyone. It's a Siroja. Uh -huh. Ludmila's son, Sergei, is a police officer. Their family is originally from Ukraine. A few days ago, Sergei was arrested and charged under a new law with spreading fake news about the Russian army. He's suspected of criticizing the Russian offensive on the telephone. This is a very heavy blow for me, for the family, the little children. Suddenly, their dad just disappeared. He never went to protests. He has no social media. He just spoke to friends on the phone. I can't rule out that he said something like, war is bad, people are dying, homes are being destroyed, and that's bad. Ludmila still can't believe this is happening to her family. And she's still struggling to understand why. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News. Moscow.